Hi guys, I'm back and I'm right now here with Tomasz Bocek. I hope I pronounced that exactly. correctly. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Tomasz? It's a hard name to pronounce. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Yeah. <laughs> it's Glad lovely to hear it. Speak to all of you, get to meet you in person. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited really to meet nicely. you as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can you tell us about yourself for the start in your music career so far? What have you been doing? Well, it's been a long way. Um, actually, at, at first I started like uh, four years ago. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe five years ago. Yeah. At high school, I just started posting covers on YouTube, mm -hmm. and once like one of them got like uh, three hundred thousand hits. Oh wow! Like, uh, Which one was YouTube. that? It was a song uh, "Do I Wanna Know" by Arctic Monkeys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then I posted even more, more covers and then I started basking, traveling mm -hmm. around Europe, like long story short. Mm -hmm. And after some while I decided that I'd like to release my own stuff. So I, I got together with my producer for Skull mm -hmm. and we worked on my, sec my, my first single mm -hmm. and second as well. That, that's, that's the one, that's the one uh, that got me to national round of Europe. Yeah. <laughs> How did you decide to enter this selection, and what can you tell us about this particular yeah. song? Well, uh, it was like it was like um, uh, my producer's idea as mm -hmm. well. So we talked about it because he's kind of my manager as well. Oh, okay, a bit, bit of. So uh, we decided to give it a try, mm -hmm. and we signed up for the national round. We got we got chosen. Mm -hmm. And about the song, well, we we didn't go post the song for Eurovision. Okay. We decided after we we did some arrangements around it, and it was like yeah, we could give it a try. Yeah. So it was not it was not the purpose mm -hmm. to compose the song for Eurovision. And yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that's that, that's the story of the song. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't expect at first that. It, that will be composing something for Eurovision. You you shot the video clip on a rooftop. Yeah. And like the whole video clip is there. How do you come up with uh, this idea to do it like this? Yeah, that was funny. It's like uh, we were thinking like for, for a long time uh, what would we shoot like mm -hmm. for video for, for the music video for this song. Yeah. And we are friends with the director of the video, Alicia Potimkova. Oh, and actually, it was shot like 200 meters. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny. And, you know, we. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times we just, um, we just met there with, with our friends mm -hmm. at the rooftop. Okay. Because it's above the apartment where she lives. Mm -hmm. And we just chilled and drank beer and like. I played guitar, and it was it was fun, and we had some videos like just just on the iPhone, mm -hmm. and she was like, you know, we should do this and like shoot it properly, mm -hmm. and it would be awesome music video. Yeah. So we did it. We just called our friends. Hey, like chill on the roof, bring beers, bring guitar, <laughs> and and good spirits. Mm -hmm. Meet us there. And the only difference was that uh, that she brought the camera with mm. her, so that, that's that's how it was created. Now I I read somewhere that uh, the director of your music video she was also working for The Vogue and yeah. for Jamie Oliver. So how did you get in touch with her? Wow, <laughs> I don't even know, man. But yeah, that's true. She worked with Jamie Oliver at uh, uh, some book. <laughs> She also worked with the uh, New York City Film Festival. Okay. She lived in New York for some mm -hmm. while. And I'm sleeping over, like oh, yeah. today. <laughs> like, <just laughs> by the way, <laughs> yeah, we are really good friends. Mm -hmm. But I don't even know how we met. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and, and it's it's quite a funny story because like uh, one time I lived like. Like 30 kilometers, like far from Prague. Okay. And I had I had no place to stay here in Prague, and it was late night, and that was the day we met. Actually, okay. We never met before, and she was like, "Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can sleep over mm -hmm. at our place." I was like, "Okay." 
So I slept there for the night and it ended up uh, uh, like uh, that I stayed there like for one month. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so yeah, You I, just wouldn't I, leave. Yeah, I was just sleep, sleeping at the couch, we, we drank mm -hmm. beer, like watched Netflix every yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So that's how we met and mm. we are friends since then. Mm. Yeah. That's really fun. cool. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, going back to Eurovision, if you were the one to win this selection mm -hmm. to go to Tel Aviv, do you already have some ideas or some plans of how you would stage the song? Uh, not really. Like many people asked me, mm -hmm. but I guess if well, if I compare it with Nicholas, like okay, yeah. from, from last year, uh, I don't think I'm, I'm the guy who could. Uh, who could like um, do such a show? Mm -hmm. Maybe why not? Maybe I mean like we, okay, it's a different yeah, song. No, 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 but I, I mean like uh, I wouldn't dance and like okay. you know doing black backflips and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, I, I would go like for some option which I'm comfortable with. Okay. So probably I could have guitar. We we, we could use some some cool projection. Uh, Alish would do some cool projection. Um, but I, I think there's plenty of time for it. But like a lot of questions on this topic got me thinking. So now, now I'm thinking about it. But yeah. but I don't have like 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 clear idea mm -hmm. what it's gonna what it will be. So the answer is I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yet, man. But did you have a chance to listen to all of the other competing songs? Yeah, of yeah. course. And with a lot of them, we are friends. Like we've been friends actually. Jacob Andra, mm -hmm. he actually brought me to, to this music yeah. life. So yeah, <laughs> like one one day he just uh, we met at Staromyetsky University here in Old Town Square. Yeah, sorry. And uh, I just played a song for him, mm -hmm. and, he, and he was like, "Wow, you know what? Here's my guitar. Here's my." Here's my amplifier and and go earn your money. <laughs> and he just sent me to like like to, to the Euro to, to earn my money. And so he basically gave you a new profession then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that's the story with me and Jacob. Oh wow. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I listened to all the songs and who would you pick as the Czech winner if you would if if you were not competing? If I wasn't the one. Well, it's a hard question. Uh, well, big, like because of what we've been through, uh, I'd, I'd have to say Jacob. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and I, I, I love what what he has done, like and what he has done for me as well. Mm -hmm. And we uh, we have some like like like. Crazy adventures behind us as well. And I'll, anything I, you want to share? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's it's, it's not so bad. But you know, we've been traveling a lot mm -hmm. together as well, like playing in the streets. And he, he, he showed me like places, and, and he showed showed me how it goes like around Europe. So. Mm -hmm. And and I and I really like the song as well. I think it suits the Eurovision as well. And so. That would be the one, and then I really love, I, I really like a uh, friend of a friend, mm -hmm. like from from, like, from, Albert. Yeah, from Albert. We are friends as well. It's an awesome song. So yeah. I really like those two songs. <laughs> Have you ever been to Israel before? Or? No, I haven't. No, and it's pretty tempting. Like, yeah. I'd love to go to Israel. Mm. Maybe if, if Jacob win, wins, uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> we'll come with him. As a backing vocalist yeah. or something, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You never know. <laughs> well, well, right, I can just carry the bags, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Is there anything that you would like to say to all the Eurovision fans out there who have been listening to the Czech Eurovision songs and who are maybe the ones, uh, maybe you're the one who they're supporting and... Uh, well... Well, I, I really appreciate like every fan like uh, who's not from Czech Republic and who's listening to our songs. It's, it's awesome, actually. Uh, like a few hours after it was released or announced that we are the, the eight, yeah. the eight of the finalists, I got like 
a lot of messages from all around the world. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was awesome. So thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys for for noticing and for supporting us. So mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I would like to thank you for your time and for coming to meet me. And you guys, make sure that you follow him on Facebook, Instagram, and well, all other social yeah, media. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, man.